obstetric anesthesia is very important in the current scenario situation why it is because and it's always a challenging for an anesthesiologist and a surgeon it uh, involves two lives like mother and a child the many times when they are coming for the surgery uh, and they need an anesthesia means it is in most of the time it is an emergency and in emergency situation you will not get adequate time for preparing the patient and uh, many times obstetric emergency will be a complicated case either it is related to mother or it is related to any fetal compromise in many situations patient and the patient relatives may not, may not be aware of the uh, emergency and also the complications related to it and any mishaps which happens during the delivery or during the surgery or during the delivery of anesthesia will be leading to all the chaos there are different techniques for providing anesthesia and uh, there is no limit like uh, in obstetric cases we should be giving this particular type of anesthesia there is nothing like that we can give general anesthesia we can give regional anesthesia which means we will be uh, general anesthesia means we will be sedating the patient and we will be taking control of the patient's breathing and we will be maintaining that level of anesthesia and patient will be fully pain free and after the procedure we will be waking up the patient and the patient will be in a situation in a condition that they can breathe their own and uh, they will start feeling all the uh, all the sensations and when we are providing regional anesthesia we will be giving a particular area of the body uh, with adequate drugs we will be making that particular area senseless so they will not be feeling pain at particular area and uh, many a times they will not be having any muscular activity at the area where we anesthetize so um, many of the people will be knowing that we will be injecting a drug in the uh, spinal canal that means the back of the body will be injecting and the spine will be injecting and will be giving a drug and after delivery of the drug the patient will be pain free and the patient will not be having any sensation at that particular area below below that particular area and they will not be able to move their limbs so it is called regional anesthesia there are different technique for providing regional anesthesia one is spinal anesthesia and one is epidural anesthesia and the combination of these two epidural and spinal anesthesia uh, like this we do have different techniques most common techniques is regional anesthesia because it is a short procedure it will take maximum 1 hour to usually 30 to 40 minutes and it may extend up to 1 hour in normal cases and if it goes to complications and all it may uh, end up in Uh, more than one hour or two hour duration and all most of the patient will be asking that they need to feel the uh, child birth and they need to see the child immediately after the delivery and many newer uh, hospitals and newer uh, style is to keep the partner along with the patient while they are delivering and uh, both of them will be uh, in mutual Uh, understanding and the both of them will be giving comfort to each other so this and all will be possible if the patient is under regional anesthesia they will be in sense while they are delivering the baby this will also have some advantages like uh, they will not cause any harm like most of the drugs which we need to give in general anesthesia uh, will be causing some changes in the uh, fetal side also there is chances that uh, they may have some effect on the fetus also and uh, in del- in the pregnant lady there are some physiological changes which usually happens and that will be making the delivery of general anesthesia be complicated so to avoid all these things we usually practice regional anesthesia in cases of obstetrics or in the pregnant lady the effect of the anesthesia will be little longer many times and uh, uh, that will be weaned off gradually so everything they can see and they can uh, they will be knowing that i am delivering the baby and they could see the baby they could hold the baby immediately after the delivery so 
all this will be possible with the vital anesthesia we can provide labor analgesia by different techniques there is no such limit that at this moment i should deliver anesthesia then only the patient will pain free so there is no such time limit there are such concept before that we should be providing a labor analgesia at this particular stages of the labor and then only the patient will be pain free there is no such uh, time cut off time and all so the techniques will be different like if the patient as i said if the patient need around 12 to 20 hours of uh, analgesia like uh, analgesia means they will not feel any pain okay so if the patient should not feel pain doesn't want to feel pain for around 20 hours then i my technique will be different and if duration the patient needs to be pain free is only one or two hours the main technique will be uh, different so like that according to the patient and according to the situation i need to select different technique and also uh, it will be like uh, uh, at any moment in the labor during the uh, labor sometimes labor starts early sometimes labor start late and uh, the call to the anesthesiologist will be delayed or the anesthesiologist is already available in the hospital according to that the techniques will be different many times the patients may not be able to deliver the baby because of the physical status the baby's head is big the mother's pelvis is small and the obstetrician may be using some instruments to take up the baby from the birth canal so instrumentation will not be that much easy in a struggling mother who is having severe pain and many times the patient will be exhausted because of the pain and there will be very high sympathetic surge in the mother which will be complicating the blood supply to the fetus in such cases uh, the delivery of uh, a particular type of adequate an anesthesia and making the patient pain free will be making the process much easier rather than it going into complication obviously as it is a technique there are technical difficulties and there are te technical complication which happens uh, at the time of providing anesthesia but compared to uh, the benefits which we are getting by giving anesthesia to a particular situation a particular mother who is having a severe pain and may not be able to uh, do it properly and uh, when the surgeon needs some instrumentation to take the baby out in such situations and though analgesia technique or labor analgesia which we are providing will be helpful and as we are talking about anesthesia and the drug all the complication related to the drug complication related to the uh, technique will be there that is there with every surgical procedures the patient coming to you in an emergency the patient is bleeding profusely and she is going into labor okay in such situation and she is almost collapsing it means her blood pressure is low and her heart rate is too high and she is fully pale she lost a huge amount of blood in such cases i may not be providing spinal anesthesia to the patient i may not be giving you either anesthesia to the patient i will be asking the uh, obstetrician or the patient related to arrange the blood i will be going for a general anesthesia why because there are there is chances that after providing a regional anesthesia to a hospital mother there is chances of very high drop in blood pressure and the patient may not be tolerate that much drop in the blood pressure and i may not be able to manage such situation by giving blood products and uh, iv fluids and all so in such cases i'll be a little more cautious to avoid such drastic changes in blood pressure by delivering anesthesia i'll be cautious while giving all the anesthetic drugs which causes uh, fall in most of the anesthetic drugs which we usually use would be having a cardiac depressant effect so that will be causing uh, fall in blood pressure and fall in uh, cardiac activity and all so this we will be cautiously using and many techniques we will be avoiding according to the particular situation we will be having